Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Foxtech. Today we're going to talk about how to disable various libraries on your iPhone. This can mean different things depending on what you want to turn off, whether it's the music library, books library, or the app library even. I'll guide you through each one step by step. First, let's talk about the music library. If you're not interested in using Apple Music, the most straightforward way to disable it is by not subscribing to the service, of course. However, if you want to stop your music from syncing between your devices through iCloud, let's say, here's what you need to do. Open the settings app on your iPhone and tap on your name at the top to access your Apple ID settings. From there, go to the iCloud section. You'll see a list of apps and services that use iCloud. Find the music option and toggle it off. This will prevent your music from automatically syncing across your devices. It is a handy way to keep your music library local to each device and avoid unwanted additions showing up. While we are in the iCloud settings, let's also address the books library. If you want to stop your books from syncing between devices, you can do the same thing. Find the books option in the iCloud settings and just toggle it off. This way, any books you add to your library on one device won't automatically appear on another. Now, when it comes to the app library, the story is a bit different. The app library is a feature introduced in iOS 14, which is quite a while ago, that automatically organizes your apps into categories. Unfortunately, there is no way to completely disable the app library. It's integrated into iOS to help manage your apps, so you can't really like remove it. However, if you prefer not to use it, you can minimize its presence by organizing your apps on the home screen the way that you like. You can create folders and arrange your apps manually, reducing the need to visit the app library. Keep in mind that iOS 18 is just around the corner, we've seen the first beta, and there might be changes coming to these features as well, but we'll have to wait for the official release to see if there are any new options for managing libraries on iPhone. That's it for today's video, if you found this helpful, leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to Foxtech for more tech tips and videos like this one. Thanks for watching and until next time.